Howdy, hun. Welcome back to another episode of Steph's Got It. Last time, I actually cut the video off short because I really wanted to try and be respectful of your time and try to keep it not a, you know, super long unless I was like actually doing the diamond painting itself or something like that, which I don't see me doing <laughs> on the camera because I don't know. Anyway, so I cut that off because I did mention that I was going to show you that I was ordering these diamond paintings from various sources and I was going to tell you where I ordered them from and what I thought of the process and how the product was. Well, I wanted to show you the Amazon painting uh, that I ordered because I was giving this away as a gift. Um, someone from church helped me do something that I could not have done by myself and um, I needed some one who had gone through who had done it before to show me how to do the process and so I'm really grateful and thankful to her for helping me with that so I found a diamond painting that I thought would because I was gonna make her a mini quilt then I was gonna make her a purse then I was gonna make her a wallet and then before I could get any of those things done, I fell in love with diamond painting. So I ordered a diamond painting. So let's see how it, what it looks like. It's from Amazon. And I have been waiting and waiting to open it for you and for me. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, really, Amazon. You know, I appreciate the fast shipping and all, but. Oh, I get it because it's okay. So, this big box, <laughs> and here's the painting <laughs> right there. That is the painting. All right, so it says Sweet Home Decor DIY Diamond Painting. There's the box. I'll put right here what the seller's name was and I ordered this I think I want to say I ordered it on a Wednesday and I got it on a Friday but bear in mind I am an Amazon Prime member so I will put the price right there and then, of course, free shipping. I mean, why else would you order from Amazon? <laughs> All right, so let's see what's in this baby. All right. I hope your afternoon is going well. I went to church this morning, so I was putting some passion twists in my hair, which I'm going to do a review about that. <sighs> Ugh! And I could not, well, you'll see in the review. But anyway, it's not completely done. So to go to church this morning, <laughs> I had to put on my crocheted hat, which I made using a tutorial from, oh my gosh, it's been so long. It's called the um, Kingston hat. And it's a very easy tutorial from, oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. I love her, but I can't think of her name. I'm so forgetful, guys. I'm so sorry. But I'll put her name here of where I got this from. Two tool packets. Let's see what's in the baggies. <coughs> you get another one of those little green trays that doesn't have the pour spout on it. And what is this? Oh. That is your wax. <clears throat> I got two. So I got this single drill pin. And then I got this double ended drill pin, which is single tip on one end and the three diamond pickup tips on the other end. So it's dual ended. And lastly in this baggie, 
Oh, I've never gotten a pair of tweezers before with a kit. So cool. And a pair of tweezers. The that's what's in the toolkit, and there are two bags with the exact same thing inside. Uh, yes, the exact same thing inside of that one. So two tool baggies. And this has a lot of Ziploc baggies. I mean, you, the other ones I've gotten so far have maybe <coughs> maybe three or four um, Ziploc baggies. This has a boatload of Ziploc baggies. I'm not going to even open that. Alright, so here are the drills. Okay. So let's open them up because I've never ordered from this person. So let's see what they look like. And then we'll reveal the painting itself. Alright, what do we got here? We've got orange. It's pretty orange. And so, blue, yellow. So, there are the drills. Oh, let's flip them this way. Sorry for all the noise, ladies and gentlemen. And on that side. I'm going to bring that camera closer to the table next time. Okay, let's open the painting. So, this is where this bag stops. This is just canvas out there flying naked with nothing to do. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, there's your bag and there's your canvas. <laughs> like this. Come on. Come on, baby. I'm not liking that color so far, especially for what it is, but let's give it a look. And this is not what I wanted. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very colorful. And it's very bright, but for what I needed it for, I don't need it to be colorful and bright. I needed it to look like a real elephant. Um, so here's a sheet that tells you what you get in the packet, and then on the back gives you the directions. Um, so it's very wrinkly too. Um, yeah, hmm, the, the, uh, film on top of the painting has a, lots of hard, uh, ridges in it, and it only has the legend, or the key, on this one side, the right side, the right side. Alright, it has 32 colors in it, but what I'm most disappointed in is that they're bright colors. Alright, let's see what this puppy looks like. Well, oh, look at that. That's the glue. I've had band-aids that stick better than this after swimming. Look at that. Look at that. When you peel back the plastic covering, it looks like it's old and Looks like it's been wrinkled for years. The color is bright. I'm just not feeling it. Because that's, that's not what I need. Um, 
Yeah. And this was with the one that I thought I was ordering, and maybe I ordered the wrong thing. I have to go back and read it. Um, there we go. Let's get this in so you can see it when I hold it up flat. I like doing this better than rolling it because to me this flattens it right out and I don't have to put as much effort into trying to roll it. And this usually works pretty good but like I said, guys, if you could feel the static, the hair on my arms is standing up. It's so much static. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Do your thing, boo. Oh gosh, it wrapped on itself, on the glue. And so much static that I can't pull the plastic hardly. I'm not loving it, but let's keep looking. So I often, my first response is not always the most positive. That's something that you'll learn <laughs> as you come to watch this channel is that my when I give you my initial honest response that's what you're getting and after having time to digest that and think about it and look at it again and and try it out sometimes my opinion changes and sometimes it doesn't so yeah all right here's the painting oh why are you trying to curl um static <laughs> All right, here we go. That's it. It's two elephants. Like this is an elephant and here's her trunk. It looks like her tusk is broken. That's her big ear and her eye. And then his, here's his trunk and his eye. He's facing forward. She's facing the side and they're touching heads. Or could be two she's or two he's or um, mother child cousins i don't know i don't know if it's a romantic relationship or not <laughs> my roll is just a little because the edges don't want to cooperate because it was so much static i couldn't get them down okay <sighs> it's not that it's an ugly painting it's just not going to serve my purpose um the symbols are letters of the alphabet, a couple of numbers, and that's what it is mostly. There's all this red is percents are percent signs, and the green is Y uh, equal. So it's mostly just alphabets and numbers, with a few symbols like X's and pluses and percent signs. Hashed, uh, pound signs yeah so um, see here's the thing this lady who helps me out is a die hard Alabama fan if you know anything about Alabama and Auburn fans they are the most dedicated fans on the planet so I wanted to get her uh, a diamond painting in a really pretty elephant. It didn't necessarily have to be all gray, um, which is I found the color in here to be on the screen. It was soothing and uh, it felt like the red spots were where they were warm and heated with the joy of love and, and friendship and companionship or companionship. Um, and, and the green is where there's this just special aura. I don't know, in my mind I had this whole scenario made up. But the painting is actually, which is not a bad thing, it's much brighter than I like. Which again, is not a bad thing. Just for my purpose it doesn't work. So, here you go. Um, it, the shipping was quick. It came on time. I am not impressed at how many ridges and bumps are in the uh, protective covering. I am less than impressed and enthusiastic 
about whether the drills will actually stick to the diamond art painting because the glue is very weak. It's not a very strong holding glue. And even, even when I touch it, I mean, like I said, I felt band-aids that felt stickier than this thing. Um, painter's tape stickier than that. It felt really weak and but the colors look okay and I mean these are really bright colors again which is not going to serve my purpose for this particular painting. So the question becomes do I make it and then give it to someone else? Do I make it and give it up for donation for some type of charity event? Do I make it and find someone else to give it to while I look for a different painting of an elephant for this gift? Or do I just wrap these drills back up in this little baggie and roll the whole thing up and put it back in the box? and give it away to someone and let them work it but the, here's the thing i hate to give away something to someone that i think is not quality enough for me um, because i would hate for them to have a bad experience especially if they had never done whatever it is you're giving them before so you certainly want that first time to be enjoyable and successful. You want to set them up for success. And I'm not sure that this painting would set up an amateur or um, a, any person for success. Which kind of makes me not want to fool with it because I don't have the time to invest in something that's going to turn out crappy or I could even handle if it turned out crappy as long as it turned out I'm not sure this thing here is going to turn out to be uh, worth anything um, so we'll see how it goes um, I have not decided at the time of this recording this unboxing if I am going to work this and then bring it back to you and show you the finished product and my thoughts on it or if I'm going to put this aside and order something different um, I'm going to title this an unboxing because I did unbox it in front of you and I was so excited I've been waiting for a couple of days to open this um, box and to be excited about it and get started on it um so i'm kind of disappointed i'm not kind i'm very disappointed um so you know let me say this i think this is going to be a project that is put aside and i'll get back to it before the century ends maybe um or when I got all of my other diamond paintings done and I have time to just throw away into something that I think isn't going to stick uh, properly in the first place. So that is that my loves and thank you again for joining my channel. Again, if you think that unboxings and six month reviews on products and tutorials and other things might be something that you were interested in then this channel might be for you I invite you to hit the subscribe button push it push it ah, push it P push it real good da, 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 okay push the button <laughs> the subscribe button and uh, like this video if you found it funny useful exciting boring whatever if you well if you found it boring then don't click the like button unless you like boring stuff but thank you for stopping by and I'll holler at you next time